This I've been so excited to present in this show. This is brand new and it's the first time we're offering a hummingbird feeder that hangs, which is beautiful, and a handheld hummingbird feeder along with it. So uh, Sean Pickford, we're looking at the video uh, that accompanies this, but Sean Pickford is here live with us today to tell you all about it. This is from a company called Perky Pet and you're getting the hanging feeder and the handheld feeder. They're made of glass and they have the little red flowers on them that attract the hummingbirds. Um, it's super easy to make hummingbird nectar and um, you can look that up on YouTube or on um, Instagram or you can look it up on my garden party page. We'll tell you all about it. Um, in fact, we may talk about that during one of our garden party chats that we're doing this season as well. But um, here are your choices and I hope you'll grab this because the handheld feeders, which you simply hold in your hand like this, if you hold your hand really still and just sit in your patio chair in the garden, the little hummingbirds will fly right up to your hand and drink the hummingbird nectar from your hand. It's so absolutely cool. So the colors that we have for you include this clear one. We also have it in a set of blue. This one is pink, kind of a pinky lavender color. And then we have it for you in that traditional red. These are $21 for the set or three payments of $7. The price goes up at the end of the day. I don't know about you, Sean, but I love hummingbirds and I love the idea of them coming right up to my hand to take a little drink. Yeah, these are really cool from a company that basically invented the hummingbird feeder, Perky Pet, back in 1958. So they've been around for over 60 years. They know what they're talking about. I love the hummingbirds too. I'm amazed at how they can fly and how they can feed. And what's so cool about this one, We've designed it so it's real easy to use. It's a top fill, so you just twist the top off. You take your nectar. Nectar is real easy to make. I'm just going to show you what you do. You just fill it in here. Instead of being the traditional way where you had to turn it upside down, put the lid on, and then flip it over real fast and hope you didn't get soaking wet, this locks into place. It's not going to spill. It's not going to blow off. And the critters aren't going to be able to get to the nectar. I, I love, love that you get the hanging piece on here. Mm -hmm. The flowers on here mimic the hollyhock flower. And we did that for a specific reason, because hummingbirds are attracted to that flower for the nectar. So these are all rubber flowers. They're mm -hmm. not plastic. So it's an easier um, landing spot. It's an easier way for them to yeah. feed. There's a little rest on there. Those little metal pieces can fold out mm -hmm. so that the hummingbird can sit on there to feed. Mm -hmm. They're also what we call bee resistant. We've made the stems on the flowers longer than a traditional stem. A hummingbird has a really long tongue and you can see it right there. You can see how long that little piece is down in here that goes in there. A bee's tongue that. is really short, so it cannot get to the nectar. So they're not going to hang around it. So you're not gonna be, you know, bugged by the bees, neither are the hummingbirds. I love it. But the little, yeah, they, I, they're so cool. They're so good looking so too. We're busy on the lines. Let's, let's, a thousand of these just ordered. Um, let's talk about the handheld feeder. I have a okay. friend named, a good friend named Karen. In fact, if you listen to Coast 103 in Los Angeles, Karen Sharp is my very good friend. And if you look at her Facebook page, um, she has hummingbirds all over the place coming to yeah. her balcony. She just sits there and holds these. She actually has one too that uh, she has that she holds in her mouth, which I'd love to get here too someday. But um, she holds these and the little hummingbirds, if you don't move and you just sit there, you have to be patient. But once they figure out that you've got nectar and you're not going to hurt hurt them or move quickly or scare them, they'll come back and back and back to you yes. every time because they they kind of memorize where their feeding stations are and they're a little bit territorial. So you'll have that same little group of hummingbirds that just kind of hovers around and they'll actually sit on this little thing right in your hand and have a little snack. I just think that's so cool. Yeah, it really is. And what we and basically the best way to do this is fill this with nectar and sit it outside. Let them get used to it for a little while. Okay. Then once they're used to this is where they're going to get their nectar, then you take it and you hold it in your hand and you wait for them. If you try and do it right away and they've never fed from it, from the feeder, they're probably not going to go to it right away because they're just finding it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they want to make sure, oh, that's the place. So then they, you know, they calm down. They're not afraid of you. Mm -hmm. Then they're going to fly to your hand and do it. So sit it outside for a few days, then pick it up and you will be amazed at those little hummingbirds, how beautiful the colors, how they can fly forwards, backwards, side to side. 
I mean, they're so beautiful and they just love these hummingbird feeders. They're attracted to the color. Most people think you have to have red nectar. You don't. No, but actually, so it's, it's better if you don't, actually, right? because that coloring right. that goes in there is really not great for them to eat. So it's basically sugar yes. and water, and you yes. um, you heat it up to emulsify the sugar. And, and I can post a little recipe for it on my page. Yeah, but, uh, it's so easy to do. But, you know, there he is feeding from the from the handheld feeder while it's just placed on the, the tabletop. But as Sean said, and that's a great tip. Let them get used to drinking out of that. And then when you come out there and hold it in your hand, they'll come right up to you and drink out of your hand. But be patient. Once they start doing it, though, they won't stop. It's and imagine right. having a hummingbird that close. Oh, and you can watch their little wings when they stop. They're so tiny. Their little bitty wings their little bitty feet. Um, I just think this is the coolest thing. So we have 2500 of these ordered. If you want the clear, there's 400 in the blue. We have 400 in the pink, fewer than a thousand. And the red is going to be the first to sell out. We only have 800 left if you want the red. Um, that's kind of that traditional color. Um, and they are attracted to red, but the red flowers on any of these will attract them. You don't have to put yes. red in the actual no. syrup that you're making for them. Sean, these are so cool. And I love the top uh, fill. I love the fact that um, other critters can't get in there, bees and ants and things. And it's going to be a beautiful thing this summer. Interact with that wildlife, right? Oh, they're so neat to see. These are so easy to clean as well. We recommend in the hot summer, clean them about once a week. The bottom will twist off. So all you simply do is check it every once in a while, mm -hmm. fill it up with your favorite nectar mix. So you will be amazed at the different species and the different colors that you get. They are so fun to watch. I absolutely love it. And now that you have that handheld piece where you can see them up close, Oh, imagine having your grandkids over looking at them. That would be so awesome. I know, my goodness. Um, 3,000 of these ordered. Sean, thank you. We will see you later in the show with some more good stuff. Sounds great. See you. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Philip Watson's hibiscus has sold out. Congratulations if you were able to pick that up. Because I didn't. So I'm going to have to look at your pictures. Be sure and post them on my Facebook page. My goodness. Okay. So we're going to move into some outdoor lighting, which is a key element.